Hello and welcome. In this video we'll take a look at CADWORKS equipment. I'll show you how to create a brand new piece of equipment from scratch and also how to save it to the library for use in future drawings. Let's take a look. So this time when we load up CADWORKS equipment for the very first time we again see the same initial drawing environment dialog box that we saw with the other modules. Once again, in this example, I'm also going to choose the metric measurements imperial nominal pipe sizes option. So now in CADWorks, we can see the CADWorks equipment ribbon. There is a setup icon where we can access the setup dialog box. In here, I'm just checking that the equipment library file that I've got selected is the correct one, which it is. It's the metric inch out of the box standard equipment project. And of course, metric inch units where we can change that if necessary. So we'll start by placing a brand new equipment definition from scratch. We can place existing equipment definitions from the library using the place icon. The model button shows us all of the equipment definitions in the current model. You can also import and export. Typically this is for analysis using the import and export to PV Elite function. But for now I'm going to start new and go build a brand new piece of equipment. I'll give this a name. I'll call it V201. And after we've given a name the CADWORKS equipment palette is displayed on the left hand, the right hand side. In here, we can change first of all the definition information. This is the global data for the vessel uh, as a whole. I'm just here making sure that the orientation is vertical as I want it to be. You can set up a reference line, description formats and so forth. I'm happy with all the defaults, so I'm going to go to the Components tab. And I'll start by placing a skirt. So the icons here are all the different primitives and shapes that are available. I will start with the skirt. So the skirt appears in the drawing. Let's switch to a shaded visual style. I do this using the navigation cube. Here is a skirt in the drawing and the parameters for this parametric equipment are shown in the equipment palette here. So I can make some changes here. Maybe I'll change the length of the skirt to one meter and the model updates automatically. Let's change the diameter. Let's make that 1.8 meters. And for the base ring, let's add a base ring. So changing the base ring type from none to a base ring with gussets. That changes the parameters shown. The parameters for the gussets are now displayed as well. But I'm happy with those values here. So let's continue building the vessel. I'm going to now place the bottom head, which will be an elliptical head. Parameters, parameters are inherited from the preceding component. So the diameter is pulled through the wall thickness, which I've not changed. I'm going to stick with 6.25 mil. So I'm happy with this. The only thing I'm going to change is on the properties page. I'm going to change this to bottom head. Then let's add a cylindrical shell. I'll change the name here to main shell. And on the dimension page, I'll change the length to 3.5 meters. Finally, I'll add the top head, another elliptical head. So very, very quickly, the vessel is created and I'll just change the name of the top head. Okay, next on our simple vessel, I'm going to add a nozzle. The nozzle must be attached to a parent component. So first of all, we must choose where we wish to attach the nozzle. I'll attach it onto the main cylindrical shell and then hit the nozzle button. 
As you can see in the tree, the nozzle is now a child of the parent component. Currently the nozzle, you can see in the drawing, is around the back. So let's adjust the location. I'll change the layout angle to 180 degrees. And I'll move this closer to the top of the vessel at 2.55 meters along the shell. Finally, this is not a four inch nozzle, this should be a six inch nozzle. So in the standard nozzle details field, click on the button at the end of the field to access the nozzle properties dialog box where I can change, for example, change to a six inch nozzle. I could change the schedule, although I'm gonna stick with the standard schedule. I can change the flange type. Again, I'm going to stick with a class 150 weld neck flange. And hit OK. You can also copy and paste here. So if I had a second nozzle, I will copy the nozzle and paste it onto the main shell. Now we have two nozzles on top of each other. Change the distance for this one to just 500 along the shell. And I can change the nominal size maybe to an 8 inch nozzle. And the final thing I'll do is I will change the names of these nozzles. So the second one I'll call N2 and the first one N1. Okay, now the vessel is complete. What you can do is I can save this back to the, the vessel library. Once the vessel is stored in the library, it's available for use in any drawing. So let's hit save. Save to the library. The current library loaded is my metric inch out of the box library. And I can then choose which section of the library to save to. So skirts, towers. Skirts, towers seems a sensible location to store this vessel. And I'm happy with the name V201. So I can save that. Completed equipment definition can be saved back to the library. Let's hit OK. That's now available for use in any drawing. So let's start a brand new drawing. And once again, I'll just change to a shaded visual style. And now let's place the equipment definitions. This time placing from the library. So using the place icon displays the library where I can place all the equipment definitions. So I'll start with the vessel, the 201. And all I need to do is select the location for the equipment. So let's place the equipment at X 2.5 meters, Y 11.5 meters. And the orientation zero degrees rotation. The vessel's inserted like so. Let's also add some further equipment. I'm going to add some pumps, some centrifugal pumps. There are a couple of definitions here. I'm going to use this definition P EN01. And I'm going to position this first pump at X minus 600 Y 500 and Z 600 with a rotation angle 180 degrees like so. Once again the equipment is placed using the definition in the library. You'll notice on this equipment we have a detailed representation of the motor. So any DWG block can be used in place of the primitives in Cadwick's equipment should you require a more detailed representation of any parts of your equipment. Also, once you have inserted the equipment from the library, you can still edit and make any changes. If your equipment is not identical to the one in the library, if it's just similar, that's absolutely not a problem. You simply double click. For example, we need to change the size of this nozzle. I'll double click on the nozzle and we see the same equipment dialog box as we saw previously. This time though, we're modifying the equipment. So I'm going to change, first of all, the distance, the location from the center of this nozzle, because we must move it slightly closer to center to ensure that it fits. 
So I'll change that to 85 millimeters and then change the nozzle size from three inch as it was in the library to four inch and also the correct flange type of a welding neck class 150 flange. And I hit OK. And there is my almost completed pump. The only thing I want to do is change the name so it matches with our PNID P101. As we saw with the PNID that we created, we had two items of equipment. So I'm just now going to create the second pump. That's very, very easily done using the standard copy command. And I'll copy this. One point five meters in the y direction. So we're closing the two palettes. The final palette we will take a look at is the model palette, which lists this lists all of the equipment definitions in the current model. As you can see, I have V two hundred one, P one hundred one, and then a copy of P one hundred one, which I'm just going to right click and rename this to P one hundred two. And there we are. Completed equipment. Completed equipment model. The only thing left to do is save the file. So there we have a simple equipment layout including the vessel that we created from scratch. Why not take a look at some of the other items of equipment in the library or take a look at the library itself? Remember, if you do have any questions, please don't hesitate to get in touch.